This is the starting point for my BMS. At the minute it's only a battery monitoring system whereby it reads the voltage of each cell and then it dumps it back into the TNC or the TNC actually reads it. Uh, it goes through one ADC so the readings are actually constant. Now the BMS or the active balancer that's connected to this cell, this pack, only goes down to 2 volts which is a bit annoying. Now mine goes down to 1.1 uh, and as you can see we've already got 1.193, 1.195 that BMS has actually stopped working now but mine's still going this is the whole reason why I started building this in the first place is because you've got BMS's that don't go down low enough for things like capacitor banks I wanted to build something that will go down to stupidly low voltages so I have so uh, with this Hey, you f You weren't recording. How much haven't I recorded? I didn't want to start adding shift registers at the minute because it's just going to be so complex. So I thought if I build one, then I can expand on that. Uh, but I don't know what I was thinking. I need some sort of some inspiration to keep going, I suppose, to keep developing this. Uh, but like I say, literally all it does is you plug your, your balance connect connector in there and it'll tell you up to up to 10S what the voltage of the cells are. That's all it does at the minute. But I'm working on a cheaper version with different displays. It'll have the TNC on there still. It'll still have these components but a shitload more of them in that format. The price that I paid for everything, 10 boards and all the components, I couldn't have even bought the components for. That's, that's how cheap it was. And I also did um, the cheapest FedEx, which was supposed to be two weeks, but they're actually taking three days. I'm going to populate one of these first and try it. I really do want to plug one of those in, but I don't. I'm, not, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Apart from all the dirty fingerprints all over it, I've populated all these. I've only got so many of these, so I can only... This is why I put the headers on, because at the moment these are expensive because I can't buy them in bulk. So, I've got to do the displays, I think. I've actually got a spare one here. I only need the right one at the minute, so I think I'll put some headers on that. And attach it there. Good idea, Tony. I've had to make an adapter cable, uh, which that's all I've got, it's not the right one, but it fits. The display has got to go on here. There's the positive, and there's the negative, so I'm going to plug it in. Oh, we've got no fire. Hey! <laughs> that's a good sign. Right, I'm going to plug this in. And I hope and pray that we get voltage on here. I've tested it as much as I can. All the pinouts and I've, I've, well, we'll see. <laughs> it only f works. <laughs> oh my god, I'm classing that one as a success. Well, this was my prototype with the two displays on, which I've had to take off because I need them. Believe it or not. That's where the teensy was. There's all my things. <laughs> Here's the through hole one. 
uh, with no components mounted on it but obviously I've mounted the components on it and tested that, that works perfectly I only tested it one with one display but uh, we've now got this one I'm, I'm nervous about this one because it was my sort of baby I suppose because I've got a load more components fitted on it and this is the one I wanted to work so this is either going to fire up or burn look at that hey hey I'm going to look for a different display anyway um, probably a TFT or something like that. If I can get an IPS screen, a nice wide one, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the layout's going to be yet. Like I say, this is just proof of concept. And the concept's been proved. I can start developing it now. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Little things. <laughs> 